Hey, Mortgage Coach community, Dave Savage here, and I am doing a unique interview today. So usually I'm doing these from Zoom, but I'm here at Mastermind 2018. What's up, Ben? Yeah, baby. Yeah. Get it. So I, I got the one and only Ben Anderson here. Thank you, too uh, kind. Yeah, this, this is a guy I've been trying to get into the Mortgage Coach community for a long time. I mean, what, what's your production? I mean, how much business have you done? I did 235 last year. And where are you gonna take it? I'm going to take it, my goal is to grow it using technology and systems to a half a billion and then a billion and then two billion and then four billion. So I want to double every year. Wow. So, so to say he has ambition, I think would be an understatement. Um, to say he's leveraging technology, you know, like I think you epitomize the modern mortgage professional. I mean, you're using video, you're using social, you're creating content to help loan officers be more successful. So, so let's start with why you started to use a mortgage coach. You know, like, why are you now, you didn't use it last year, you didn't use it the year before, but you're like, I gotta get after it, why? Well, I gotta scale, right? It's a business that scales of economy. So I realized my presentations were one at a time, they were slow, and I was working way too hard. So with what I'm doing now in every aspect of my life, using social media to scale, it only made sense that I jumped into your program, use your presentations to get my clients better feedback because guess what? There's less conversation down the road that I have to have now that I'm making clean presentations to clients. I like that. Did you hear that? Clean presentations and, and scale. And I, I mean, I do feel, I, you know, I've interviewed I mean, just hundreds of America's top loan officers and every single time they have great communication skills. They have ways that they do things that are consistent you know, it's not like I treat one family one way and I treat right. the other family the other right. way. Right. So, so it sounds like consistency was also a big part of it and scale. I, ha I mean, that's the whole game. It's consistency, no complacency. Mm -hmm. And for me, having the ability to do one thing one time and go to the next task was, was why I chose it. Because I was making clean, in my opinion, overly simplified presentations, but not enough raw meat to give them all the questions answered at the same time. So now I have one conversation, one presentation, and then that's the gist of it. So how, how important was it to you from a multi-channel perspective? Because let's face it, everybody's kind of, you know, some people want a text, some people want Facebook Messenger. How important was it to you the fact that the way we deliver it, it's, it's a dynamic link and the family can digest the content from any device? Was that a factor? It matches how the modern buyer is looking for their information. And to me, the, the whole game is changing. Our audience is changing, how they take in content changing. Mm -hmm. And I preach that you have to be on all networks in order to be scalable. NBC, Fox, ABC, and CBS, now Instagram, Twitter, Twitter LinkedIn, and Facebook. Right. So to be able to present something that can scale to all those networks is key to my business succeeding and growing and doubling every single year. No doubt. In, 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 in the face of a price compressing market. Yeah, and also YouTube, you know, I've... YouTube. We, we're going to put this in our YouTube channel. Yes. And I am seeing more loan officers being more intentional about having a YouTube channel. Absolutely. And then, you know, just the play off of YouTube and Facebook. Okay, so, so let's do this because, you, again, you're relatively new at Mortgage Coach. I do want to get a script out of you, so be ready for me to put you on the spot. Absolutely. And get a script out of you. But if you could, if you could just talk about getting started, you know, what did you tell your team? Like, when you decided that, hey, Mortgage Coach is going to be a new team requirement, what did that conversation sound like to your team? We trained together because I wanted questions that came up to all to be answered at the same time. You know, how to use the TCA and how to use rent to own. That's how we started. I said, let's not absorb the whole entire thing. Let's start with two key components on just the presentation side together. Let's all meet in one place at one time and just digest it together and ask and answer questions because things that you might not be seeing about questions that may come up are things I might be seeing. So getting your whole team in a room and sharing those ideas together will get us all on the same page on how to use it. And guess what? If I'm on a conversation with a client and they have a call with me later and they've got a question later and I can't get to it, I've got to have a system of FISA approach to who can answer those questions when they trickle down. So people that pre-call my customers must also know how to use it as well as I do. Love that. So guys, I want you to get two takeaways. So if you are a team, or if you have a team, that concept that you're all in the same sheet of music, but I, I think for everybody, whether you have a team or you don't have a team, the concept of start with strategies, and you said, I want to start with rent versus own. Yes. What was the other one? The TCA, total cost analysis. Total cost analysis. Yes. So while we do a lot of different things, we've got rate watch, we have a lot of different strategies, you, you were very focused on that. Right. How, how much do you think it's going to improve conversion? You know, because I mean, that's why a lot of people invest in mortgage coaches, the belief that, wow, if I went from fee worksheet to dynamic mortgage experience, I'm going to get a better conversion rate. I think that it works the best when you're dealing with the new buyer who understands modern technology. Mm -hmm. And because I believe the point of sale of our business is changing, 
Last year, 70% from my own study of people that, 70% uh, of buyers were responsible for finding their own home last year online. So that buyer understands technology. And that's not just in California, I'm in multiple states. So that's how I feel across the, the whole entire country it's going. Mm -hmm. So those buyers want a clean, concise way of understanding the benefits of home ownership. And to me, giving them one way that I could replicate every single time as I'm training other LOs to do the same thing, if we all follow the same system, we'll all scale together. Cool. Well, first of all, it's been a great interview. By the way, everybody watching it, if you like this, give us a like below, share this with your mortgage friends. Now let's get a couple scripts from you. So I want to ask you one, how would you position the total cost analysis or rent versus own? You pick it with the family. And then I also want to get like a, you know, less than a minute of scripting of how you'd explain this to a realtor. Right. But let's just start with the buyer. Well, the buyer rent versus own is simple, right? I try and be an advisor at all times. Mm -hmm. I preach a long-term 30 year relationship with the buyer. So number one, why are you renting and why are you wasting your money? It's the low down payment approach to just getting in. You just have to get in. If every single year your home goes up by four to 5% over the growth rate, mm -hmm. then stop renting today. So I use that worksheet to show them the benefits of truly being a home ownership. I touch on the emotional side of home ownership and use that rent to own analysis to show them, hey, you're benefiting financially, but you're also benefiting in the long term because you have a home for your family right. and you, no one can kick you out of the place where you own. Right. So it's the emotional touch points that I can get to them faster by giving them, look, here's the information. Now why you're buying is because of an emotional reason. So I get to the emotional reason faster because the data gets to them with one clean, concise way. And, and you said something, I hadn't actually heard it said like this before, you're, you're after this client for life relationship, 30 years. For life. So providing more than just the transactional rate quote, rates and fees, yes. but providing them the cost over time. That's right. And home ownership over time. You're really, you're, you're starting that relationship with, let me show you a 30 year view. So you're not just saying, I want to have a relationship forever. You're showing them, I'm going to help you build wealth over time. It's the economy like of that. scale. If I could have everybody refer me one person, because of how I treated their purchase, then I'll scale to double every single year, right? Combine that with getting in more states and just being more innovative with technology, and that's why the mortgage coach is such a part of my vision. Love it. So last question, 30 seconds in a minute. Just how, when you talk to a realtor and you're explaining, you know, how your experience with mortgage coach is better, I always hear loan officers talk about how it's better communication, it saves the realtor time, or it improves conversion. How are you positioning it with a real estate agent? It's simple. Agents are afraid to work with buyers because they believe buyers are liars and buyers aren't serious about getting off the fence. So this finds out who's serious quickly with that rent versus own comparison because I can show your buyer in five or six months, based on what the market's gonna do, you're pricing yourself out with rates changing. So if I can present your clients with mortgage coach quickly, they'll get off the fence sooner and buy now and you won't lose that customer. So it's all about sense of urgency. Let me show you how I create sense of urgency with your families. And then I do wanna remind everybody, we're gonna put a link to one of Ben's uh, rent versus owns down below, but also I wanna get a cost of waiting because let's just say it's a move up buyer. Yes. And you can say, hey, look, if you stayed here, column A. Yes. If you moved up, column B. Yes. If you wait six months and rates go up, so values get up. So let's get a, we don't need to talk about it now, but I want to get a cost of waiting. So, so if you're watching this, you're probably watching it in YouTube. There'll be a link down below in the little description area. And if we push this on Facebook, we'll put a couple links in comments. Great job. Dude, Thank you're you. awesome. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Let's go. All right. All right.